Hey guys, well, we're doing a little bit of carburetor work tonight. I'm doing it right here on my kitchen table. Uh, so I thought I'd just film the process. I'm going to tear into this uh, Carter BBD carburetor. And I'll try my best to keep it in frame here. Um, now I've got, I've never been into one of these carburetors before. I rebuilt a Holly 2280, which is essentially the same, but I've got my um, you can see that I've got my factory Chrysler service manual. Uh, can you see that? That came with my car out there, so I'm going to use refer to it. So uh, this may be kind of a long series of videos, but I don't think there's any others that are posted. So maybe, hopefully, anyone that's doing this will uh, excuse me. Anyone that's doing this will also uh, get some use out of this. Okay. Now, according to this, says I'm just going to read this through the book here, and I'm going to do it as whatever the book says to do. Uh, I'll do it. And uh, so, I got. It looks like most of the screws are all flat blade, so uh, I'll use that until I have to use something else. All right, go right and remove idle, idle speed solenoid. Okay, this one, the other car right on the car, this is not the one that came off the car. It's just, just another one I bought from the junkyard, I think. But it appears to be in pretty good shape. So I thought, well, what I do is just go ahead and uh, overhaul this one. Because that one I know has got some problems. Remove throttle position solenoid and idle speed solenoid. That'd be over here. And this, like I just said, this one doesn't have it. So we don't have to do that step. Probably put one back on it because that car has one. All right, step three. Remove idle enrichment vacuum diagram, vacuum nickel, nipple, and diaphragm return spring by removing three screws. Okay. Uh, I've already looked at the diagram. This is, that's this thing here on the back side of the carburetor. So first thing I'll do is, First thing I'll do is get this old piece of vacuum right off. Then you have three screws here. Be sure you keep all your parts and your screws together. That goes without saying. plugged off but I'm sure it's got a some sort of vacuum source to it since it's uh, called the idle enrichment vacuum zone diaphragm excuse me I think that is something to do with the choke when it's well just when it's cold when it's run, when it's cold running it just kinda helps it idle when it's cold. Okay, diaphragm vacuum nail and return spring. Okay, now here's the diaphragm. You can see that there. That's the, there's a little diaphragm, it looks like a fuel pump diaphragm. And I guess the return spring is in this. It is. I can see it. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's just in there. So I'm just going to leave this all together. Okay, remove brass air valve and seat and valve spring by unscrewing seat from air horn with wide bladed screwdriver, figure eight. Okay, what that is, now this one's different. You're supposed to be able to get this out with a uh, flat blade screwdriver, but this one doesn't have a flat blade on it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's supposed to be a flat blade on this, and this one doesn't have it. So uh, I'll have to explore another option on that. Uh, we may come back to that. Okay, now then. All right, 
Remove retain clip from accelerator pump arm link and remove the link. Okay, this is the uh, this is the accelerator pump assembly right here on the left side of the terminator. So the length they're talking about is right down here on the bottom. It's got like a little wire flip arrangement. So let's just go ahead and try to pop that out. Carefully, these are kind of boogers sometimes. There it is. Came out. It's like a little hairpin type of a deal. Make sure you keep track of that thing. Okay. Move the link. Right, it just pops out. You saw that. And then you just weasel it out of this. Keep that together. Okay. Next step, remove step-up piston cover plate and gasket from top of air horn. So, I know what that is, but I'm just going to look and make sure that's step-up piston cover plate is this, this plate right here. So, just two flat blade screws. Shouldn't be on very tight, they aren't. So one, two. Now this has enough screws in it, I'm going to have to bag these or tape them together and label them because uh, I don't want to get them mixed up. Now this is kind of stuck down here. Be very careful trying to get something like this off. You don't want to pry, you know, on the bottom of the carburetor any more than you have to. The body of the carburetor, I mean. So, anyway. Yuck. It's in while it's got a gasket on the inside of it. Keep that together. Alright, now then. Yucky. Okay, next step is going to be remove the screws and locks from the accelerator pump arm and the vacuum piston rod lifter. Then slide the pump lever out of the air horn. Okay, figure 10. So, um, Okay, the screws and the locks are, I'm going to look up there and hope this is in the frame. These are the screws and the locks, these two the pieces here. So let's go ahead and, this one's got a little bit of junk in it. Let's go ahead and get that out of there. I think somebody's already rebuilt this carburetor once. I can see the screws are kind of. Try not to booger these things up if you can possibly help it. Alright. Unscrew and lock. What I do is uh, to be careful with these to make sure I don't try not to slip out of the slides. I push pretty hard on this into the screwdriver to force it into the slot because these just won't tolerate a lot of slipping out and beating the, beating the slot up. Okay, there's the two screws and locks. We've got those out. And then um, slide the pump lever out of the air horn. That's that's that means this. This is the pump lever. You can see that. Slide it out of the air horn. Okay, there that is. That's your pump lever. Okay, then slide the pump lever. Okay, we did that, excuse me. The vacuum piston and step up rods can now be lifted straight up and out of the air horn as an assembly. So that's, this is a green thing here. Well, it says it's supposed to be an assembly, but these didn't quite come out as an assembly. Look at that. Okay, this is what they're talking about. This is the uh, vacuum piston. If it's like a quarter jet, that's just a, this thing gets a vacuum signal to the end of it and it pulls these rods down and that's these 
I can tell by looking at them, these two rods, or these are metering rods, and they, uh, they're thick at this end, the top end, and then they get thinner down here. So the further up they travel in whatever bore they're in, uh, the more gas that lets pass through, it just reaches the mixture up. So it's got like a little spring on it up here. You can't hardly see that, but um, this one's had some water in it. I can tell. We'll have to clean this thoroughly and make sure it's all good to go. So we'll put that to the 